factorials 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 till n 2 factorials 1 into 2 into 3 factorials 3 into 2 into 1 6 4 factorials 4 into 2 into 3 into 1 24 and so on we know that 7 factorial into 13 factorial is 24 into k factorial find k very interesting and so 7 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7. 13 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 all the way to 13. 24 to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 all the way to k. What am I going to do? Then I am going to say hey this seems like an interesting question. Nice tough question. So I am going to see will k equal to 1 work? k equal to 1 won't work. This is 24 into 1. This has 1 into 3 into 3 all the way to 7. 1 into 2 into 3 all the way to 13. k cannot be small. 1, 2, 3 not won't work. Suppose I put k equal to 10. We just put 10. Suppose this is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 3 10. Suppose I had to solve this like an equation. What will I do? This is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 3 into 10 that side. 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 3 into 10 this side. I will cancel that off. Then deal with the remaining. Fine. Now, that doesn't work because if I put k equal to 10, I will cancel till 10, then 11, 12, 13 are remaining here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 till 7 are remaining here. On that side, there is only 124. k equal to 10 will not work. What am I going to do? I am going to put k equal to 13. I don't want to have this fellow remaining. I'll cancel him off 30 completely. So, I am going to put k equal to 13 and see where that takes me. So, this will be 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 till 13. So, what will I do? This whole thing will get cancelled with this whole thing. I have 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7. This side is 24. This doesn't work. Why? 2 into 3 into 4. This itself is 24. And then we have 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into 4 is 24. And then we have 5, 6, 7. This is a very large number. That is very small. So, my k is not 13 either. k should be more than 13. That is beautiful. But now, what will I do? I will put k equal to 14. 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 this side. 1 into 2 into 3 all the way to 13 this side. This is 24 into 1 into 2 into 3 all the way to 14. I am going to try 14. 13 didn't work. What will happen? Everything till 13 will get cancelled and then one 14 will be remaining. 14 is 2 into 3 into 4 is 24. That is gone. What is remaining is 5 into 6 into 7. 6 into 7 is 42. That side there is a 14. This is 42 into 5. 5 into 42. One 14 will get cancelled, but there is still something remaining here. Even 14 doesn't work. I have to go higher than 14, but I have got my answer straight away. Because this is 5 into 42. If I rewrite this, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7. 42, I can write it as 14 into 3. 5 into 3 is 15. 15 into 14 is what this will become. Now I have got going. I know that 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7. This can be written as 24 into 5 into 3 into 2 into 7 into 15 into 14. After the 7 factorial, we have 1 into 2 into 3 all the way to 13 back into 13. This side we have 24 into 1 into 2 into 3. We put all the way till 15. Then what will happen? It's beautiful. 1 to 13 will get cancelled. 1 to 13 will get cancelled. We'll just go away completely. What will we have remaining here? 24 into 14 into 15. What do we have here? 24 into 15 into 14. The key thing is to say, our k should be more than 13. Therefore, straight away everything from 1 to 13, I will cancel. I will have to say k should be more than 14. 
So effectively, this question becomes 7 factorial equals 24 into 14 into 15 into something till k. And then we notice if we put 14 into 15, this works. 7 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7, which is 24 into 14 into 15 all the way till k. 24, maybe we can put 1 into 2, 2 into 3 into 4 or we can cancel 6 into 4. 14 is 2 into 7, 15 is 3 into 5, then k can go only up till 15, k equal to 15 works. Excellent, excellent, excellent question. Beautiful question. One of my favorite. So answer k equal to 15 works. Gosh.